Hey guys, it's Heath, and this week in my weekly edit, I'm going to go ahead and edit this image of the Tokyo Sky Tree, and I'm going to make the city lights pop on also. So let's get going. So here we are, and I have my base image, and I've gone ahead and edited it just a little bit, just bring down the highlights and bring up the shadows a little bit, just to make sure that everything looks nice. But when I was doing my shadows, I brought up the shadows, not a whole lot, just enough to, that they kind of blend with this back image I took later on that night. I've taken this image with the lights, and I brought up the shadows just enough where they start to blend in with this day, the sunset shot. And what we're going to do here is we're going to make these buildings right here, and a little bit of the sky tree, have the lights come on. And it's very simple. Typically, you just go ahead and bring the darker one up on top, First thing you're going to do is make sure that your images are aligned correctly. And if they aren't aligned, go ahead and select both of them. Go over here to your selection tool and go ahead and hit this auto align tool. That will go ahead and align them so they're easy and it will blend seamlessly. Next thing you need to do is you need to get your base on the bottom and have the lights up on top. Once you're on top, take the light layer I have here, go ahead and hit lighten. And that's going to go ahead and blend in all the city lights through. Unfortunately, we have a negative effect here in the sky. As you see, it's not doing a really well job of making it so it blends seamlessly. You can simply fix this by going down here, going to your mask, hit option, and that's gonna blend out everything. All you have to do is take a simple paintbrush, hit B on a Mac, and I go ahead and head a Flow 14 up. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend in just the lights, painting white. And this is going to go ahead and blend in all the city lights just where I want them. And then continue on over to the other side, get these lights. And I'm going to go ahead and get down in the water. I'm going to shrink down my brush a little bit. Make sure I get just a little bit of the sky tree also. Go up here in the buildings. Shrink it down just a little more and I can go up here and get all this sky tree. Not going to be the best job, but it's pretty good. We'll go over it one more time, making sure we got everything good. And if you want to see where you're painting, go ahead and hit the backslash key. And that's also going to show you exactly where you're painting. So you can go through and make sure that you're not blending in anything that you do not want. And then after that, all you have to do is hit on off. And you can see that I brought the lights right back to life. And that looks pretty good. So that's the quick and simple tip. Now we're going to continue on and edit the rest of this image. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to group these together. And I'm going to go ahead and command option shift E. That's going to make me a master copy. And at that point, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to my filters, Nick collection, and then we're going to go color effects pro. Once we're here in color effects pro, we're going to hit up the dynamic contrast bring up the contrast, correct contrast, and see if color cast will change anything. Kind of like it without it. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to add a polarizer. Polarizers will help bring out any of the blue. So oversaturate it up on the strength and then rotate it around to see where it's really affecting it. And then you can dial back the strength a little bit. And obviously we got a nice little sunset. So we're going to go ahead and add brilliance and warmth. On brilliance and warmth, we're just going to go ahead and add a little 8% here, a little bit of warmth there. I want to see how this affects the whole image. And it's looking pretty good. We're going to hit OK. Once it's back in, you can see that flipping it on and off is that it does a really good job of making everything a little bit more sharper and making that contrast pop. One thing I do see is that this image right here is not totally aligned. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try and straighten it out. So first thing you can do is you have the ruler, grab the ruler, bring it out, and you can see that it's not straight. So go over here to the crop tool, grab it, and we're just going to rotate it up a little, a little bit to make sure it looks good. Not too much. And you want to look at it a few times just to see if it's looking right. I think that looks a lot better than what it was. And you can go ahead and get out of here, and then you can grab this and then drag it off to the side. 
We zoom out a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and we see some pixels showing over here. So we're gonna just crop it a little bit more like so. So just to recap what we've done, we went ahead and did a blend mode of lighting to get the city lights on and then blended in just the lights where we want them. And then we went and took it into Nick Color Effects Pro and we added a little bit more contrast and saturation. And that brought out the sky a little bit more and made everything blend really well. Besides that, this is the quick edit of the week and hopefully you guys will like this little tip I used with the city lights and making them blend right back into the city through sunset. So thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and stay tuned to next week for the next weekly edit. Thanks and bye.